say that if you don't study history, then you're doomed to repeat it. And that's been proved true time and time again. But what determines what kind of history we study and why is it relevant today? I've been a lover of everything historic for decades and I've written several books on the subject. And these subjects are ones that have never been written about before, which has made me even more passionate about when I, uh, when I find something. The thing is, if we don't make a permanent record of historic events, people, buildings, days, then who's to say these things even existed? Now, recently I picked up this book called The Alex. Now, it's about a hotel in the town of Bridlington uh, called the Alexandra Hotel. Now, this guy, Martin Wallace, has uh, taken a lot of time and effort to track down all this information and all these photographs, all these memories, and now this place is remembered. A lot of people won't have even heard about this until this book came along. And you should do the same. Now, don't get me wrong, nobody owns history. You can pick any subject you like and be passionate about it. Find a hero or a battle that's never been touched upon. Become that expert this world needs on that subject. If we don't, there'll be more and more things that's going to be forgotten. It's over a decade now that we lost the final veteran of the battles of the First World War. How long is it before we no longer have anybody here to remember the Second World War, the Falklands War, the birth of aviation, the Atlantic Ocean Liners, the space race? There's never a better time to get out there and do your own research and show the world your passion and how much you could uncover before it's lost forever.